Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. So good to have you. Welcome, welcome. This is baby Juliet. We call her Jules. We like her a lot. She is almost three months old, but she was born six weeks prematurely, so her corrected age is just about two months old. And she's gonna go hang out with my friend Becca while I do this video for you about newborn essentials. And the reason I wanna make this video is I wanna help you build your registry. A lot of people write me asking about building a registry and right now my, um, <laughs> I'm not going with Becca, are you kidding me? She's staying here. Right now my sister is getting ready to have her baby and so we're actually going through this with her and I just thought it would be cool to share with you guys since I'm on baby three um, and I'm just such a professional <laughs> as you can see. Um, I love you. Okay, you're gonna go with Becca. Anyway, I wanna help. That's all. That's all this video is. It's a helpful video. I love you. Okay, and this video is a partnership with a brand that we really like in my house called Built Bar. And I don't have the bar right here because I brought all this stuff and forgot. So I'm gonna film a little clippy at my house right now and show you that. Built Bar, healthy, delicious, tastes like chocolate truffles, really easy, protein-filled snack, gluten-free. Usually, I don't know, like, I'm just winging it here. The bar that I had yesterday, I had it late, late last night after I got the baby to sleep. It was a chocolate coconut flavor, and it had, like, 17 grams of protein. They are giving you 20% off if you use my link below, and the discount is applied at checkout. Enjoy your bars. <laughs> Okay, and now, da, 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 you are pregnant, congratulations, or you're adopting a newborn, or you are, I don't know, what are the other ways that the newborns come into your life? I don't know, you're about to be a mom or a dad, and you're wondering what the heck are you gonna need? I'm your girl. I'm gonna tell you the things that I like and have used. You should know a few things about me before we begin. One, I am highly skeptical of everybody trying to sell me stuff. I tend to be a pretty frugal person. Uh, I understand the world of marketing to moms. I think people have really recognized that we are tired and desperate and looking for anything that promises baby sleep and baby cuteness and baby health. And so when somebody is trying to sell me something and is promising it will make my life amazing, I don't buy it. I, I'm usually the person that needs a few different people to tell me it's awesome before I will trust it. Or I need like my very best friend or a sister or somebody to say, Jessica, buy this thing and then I will do it. I I say that because the stuff that I tell you that I like, I really mean it. And it's also a lot of it is going to be stuff that I personally sell in the Very Good Mothers Club business that I started with Becca, who just left with a baby. And here's the thing. You might then hear this and be like, oh, well, Jessica's selling me the stuff that she sells. Yeah, but it's actually backwards. I carry in our shop, Very Good Mothers Club, the exact things that I actually use as a mom and I actually think are good. So yes, I am telling you the stuff that I sell, but I sell it because I use it and like it. So it's all layers of do I actually believe in it? And when it comes to our business, I'm not going to carry it if I don't really think it's gonna enhance my life or yours so I'm very specific about what I let us carry in the shop and I also have ordered things for our business I say this I'm, I'm pointing here because we carry all of our business stuff right here <laughs> in Becca's room. Anyway, I have actually ordered things to sell in our business and then been like, you know, this isn't my favorite. I don't think that my people should be buying this. And we have changed it up and gotten better products because I really care about this. So I hope that when you hear these things, you at least can know that I am not trying to scam you or tell you to buy something that won't actually make your life better in some way when you have a baby. I also recognize that you and I might be very different people and some of the stuff that you find helpful may not be the same as what I find helpful. And lastly, I'm on baby three. I know that for baby one, you might be like, but I want to dress my child in 
a big hair bow and 16 layers because they're gonna look incredible in an Instagram photo. I sometimes don't change jewels out of her outfit for like three days <laughs> and she wears a lot of Wilson's hand-me-downs and I, poor girl, like she needs to be cuter than she is sometimes because I just am spread pretty thin. So I'm gonna tell you stuff that I find to be very easy, simple, classy, nice, and I know that you might even go nicer than me and I like that about you. Good job, <laughs> you're doing great. So anyway, okay, that's a real big preface to this. If you're a parent looking for more support in your parenting journey, we have a Facebook group full of really kind, supportive people. Jess Hover and Friends is what the group is called and you're welcome to join. You just need to fill out the questions that we ask you because we're trying to protect you from being in a group of people that actually don't belong in that group. So answer the questions, please. If you want more of my family life, Instagram is the place for that. So Jess underscore Hover. Now we'll begin. First thing I think you're gonna want as a parent and register for these would be swaddles. I carry them in our shop. Oh, here's a swaddle. I have swaddles. There's muslin blanket swaddles. You wrap your baby in them. They also make great burp cloths. They also make great makeshift like diaper changing pads. They are excellent. You will want more than one. In my experience, that's what I have. They're also, in this world, are a whole massive variety of kinds of swaddles, like zip-up swaddles and kinds that are like Velcro-y swaddles. You can look up more elaborate swaddles and see what people like. I find that muslin blanket swaddles are just very nice, and I have not found like incredible other options for my personal preference. I think happiest Baby is a brand that carries some zip up ones that people like, and Swado, S W A D O, is a brand people like. Sleepers with mittens that zip from the bottom. We sell these. I mean, lots of companies make these. I highly recommend having these. For me personally, I only put my baby in these types of things initially because I'm just a lazy bum. <laughs> and I just want it to be so easy. So look, the sleeves here, they wrap around to cover the little baby's hands. Some people get newborn gloves and swear by them. I love the idea, but I lose them so easily. So these are great because they're just built right in and then they zip from the bottom to make diaper changes way easier. You're not having to fully take your baby out of their clothes in the nighttime to do diaper changes. My sister asked how many she needs. I said seven to 14. I said I would have just a few in the newborn size and then more of them in size zero to three. Unless you have a super preemie baby, that's what I think you will want. My baby was born prematurely and she was in the newborn size until like two weeks ago, which would mean she was in it from October, November, November, so, so about two months. And um, even if the stuff you put your baby in is a little bit big for them, I think it's fine. I'm, I tend to be a little more laid back in that way. So it's cool if you don't agree, that's okay. Baby balm a little butter for their tush and dry skin, though they told me in the NICU not to put lotion all over the baby because the a fresh baby's skin is learning how to take care of itself. So if you're putting moisture on top of it, then it's not learning to produce as much moisture as a baby's skin is capable of producing. So they told me to only put butter on it if I see like cracked skin, super dry skin. And my favorite has been this company, Texas Tallow. There's also other really amazing ones that exist in the world and I have used whatever I've got my hands on. I choose to sell Texas Tallow because I like it the most and um, and I know the owners and they're awesome. And so that's just what I recommend is having a great baby's butter. I know another company that people like is Earth Mama, and I like them too. Having a lounger, so a place where you can lay your baby and they can sleep while you're doing other things. This is a Snuggle Me Organic. We sell it, this is what I put jewels in every day when I work here at Becca's house. I also have a Dock -a Tot. Either one I find to be really great. Um, I just think that you will want something that you can lay your baby in. Uh, the lounger comes with lounger covers you can, that you can get. So I guess comes with. So you can get lounger covers for them. I also sometimes just take an extra swaddle and put it over the cover if I think she's gonna spit up in it because I have a reflexy baby who spits up a lot. My other two babies did not spit up hardly at all. This baby that I have currently, Jules, she is a, um, you know, she's pretty impressive with her ability to spit up. Car seat, you will want a car seat. From my frugal spirit 
to yours. I want to tell you that I actually recommend investing in a nicer car seat and a nicer stroller. Uh, if you need to ask family and friends to chip in for that, I think it's worth it. I have in the past with Wilson, if you followed my videos, my baby 101, vi my baby 101 videos, I first bought our cheap, cheap, super cheap car seat. And then I ended up upgrading later because it was painful and Wilson cried all the time and it just did not seem great. The one I have currently is this one. This is a Nuna. It was given to me. I love it. It is pretty pricey and wonderful. I wish I could sit in it, to be very honest with you. It is awesome. The one that I used for Wilson, my upgrading for Wilson, was an Up a Baby. Absolutely loved it. And my strollers that I've been using are Up a Baby, though I still haven't mastered. I just need to buy the stuff for an Up a Baby Vista for two babies in it. I need to do that. Can you see my stress? Ah, uh, diapers and wipes. I recommend getting a subscription for diapers and wipes so that they will just deliver those puppies to your door once a month. Or for me right now, because I have two kids in diapers, I get them every three weeks. And that was actually a gift from a family member. So nice. You're gonna go through a really marvelous amount of diapers. You're gonna marvel at that like, wow. How did we do that? That's where you're gonna be, okay? I'm using Hello Bello brand and I really, really like them. It does have the wetness alert thing where it turns blue, alert, I don't think that's what they call it. Anyway, turns blue when they pee, really good. Nursing pillow. We carry these in our shop now, like a big smile. And look, this is fun. So you put the baby like this and then they rest on you. I think they're awesome and they really relieve some pressure on your arms. Then when the baby's a little older, they can sit in them like this. And they can lay and be propped up on them. They're really helpful. So a nursing pillow. I think it would be beneficial to have a swing or somewhere to set the baby. Some people like to do the bouncer. I have a swing and I swear by it. Somewhere to set the baby. Everything that I put in this video, I either will be selling in my shop or I will link it below on Amazon and you can find it. A swing is just so helpful. And for my baby with reflex, the swing is nice because it props her upright. So I don't have to hold her upright for as long. I can put her in there on a slow rock and she can just chill for a little bit. Baby carrier. So that you can hands-free wear the baby. I like the Ergo baby carrier. I also have a ring sling that I like. And then I just got a carrier from Connie. Connie baby, K-O-N-N-Y, that I really, really like. And I wanted it. It was very easy to put on and it just feels good and there's support on both my shoulders. I know that different moms have different preferences for carriers, so I'm sorry that I'm listing three instead of one. The Ergo is very structured and I found it to be really helpful as my babies get older to be able to put them in. I put Eloise in there until she was almost three. I could wear her on my back and she was a tall girl. Uh, Wilson, he is pretty independent, so he doesn't like to be carried in there anymore. Jules, I wear her as much as I possibly can. I recommend it. If you are going to breastfeed, I recommend getting a breast pump. I have been using a Spectra and I also use a Medela. I, yeah, so far that's what I like. I just think you're gonna want a good pump. Both of those are really good. Oh, what if you're not gonna pump? What if you just wanna exclusively breastfeed? I had Eloise and she did not take a bottle. So that's all I did for a long, 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 long time was breastfeed Eloise. And I still wanted a handheld pump because my breasts would get engorged and hurt so badly. And the handheld pump was what allowed me to release milk quicker so that she could nurse on me because when they would get too full, she wouldn't be able to latch properly. And I was just in so much pain. So another mom ended up handing me a manual breast pump and saying, go to the bathroom right now and pump and this will help. And it totally did. So consider that, okay? If you're gonna breastfeed, I will make a video that is breastfeeding essentials, but you wanna consider things like breastfeeding bags or like a bra that puts the pumps right there so you don't have to be holding the pump on your breasts. Also, if you're gonna be a nursing mother, I recommend nursing bras. We carry those in our shop. I also have, uh, I'll link below a brand that I love that is a more like lacy, beautiful kind of looking one. Bottles. Having a baby bottle would be great if you're going to a bottle feed your baby. The brand Comotomo is good. There's also Tommy Tippy and some others. We'll link them below. I don't know. I don't have like a go-to bottle that I swear by, but I currently am using Comotomo because I saw that Kim Kardashian was using it. And so that's that. 
um, have a stroller that you like. And like I said, mine is my favorite has been up a baby. Okay, but tell me what you like. I am really curious about stroller options. Bassinet, where's your baby gonna sleep in the beginning? Having a great bassinet is a good idea. Your baby's gonna be in there for about three months-ish. Um, when we first were given a bassinet when Eloise was born, <laughs> I didn't even know what it was. I, I got on Google, I was like, what is a bassinet? How do I use a bassinet? So that was that. I do recommend a bassinet, I think they're great. A family that I'm friends with, they chose to do a playpen for their baby that came with a bassinet. And they did that because they knew they were gonna be traveling a lot with the baby and they wanted the baby to be comfortable in the playpen, sleeping there, anywhere they went. And that has worked out really well for them. So just having somewhere in your room that the baby's gonna sleep or in their own room, however you're gonna do that, you're gonna want some baby body wash. <laughs> this is the bath soap I have gentle on the skin. The kind we carry smells really good. Anyhow, baby body wash and a baby bath if you don't have a great sink that you want to have your baby in. We have a little baby bathtub and then I also sometimes take baths with the baby. Gripe water and gas drops. I don't have those with me right now, but you can get those just if you have them on hand. They're very helpful in the late evening hours when your baby's been crying their head off and you're trying to figure out solutions. Gripe water and gas drop. Uh, what about people asking, how can we help? What can we do? Uh, you could ask for Instacart gift cards, uh, Grubhub or Postmates or Uber Eats gift cards, or if people are willing to bring you food, that's ideal. I just know with COVID, people are less likely to do that right now, at least here. That's been my experience. So food, say, I want food, please, because when you're tired and multitasking, the relief of not having to make food is is a is great. It's a great relief. A diaper bag. What are you gonna use for a diaper bag? For me, I have used a backpack with Wilson. If you watch Baby 101 videos, I have this great yellow backpack that we got from Urban Outfitters. I mean, it's just like the most standard backpack and eventually the zipper got stuck on it, so we have moved along. But yeah, a backpack is a great idea as a diaper bag because then your hands are free. Usually diaper bags are like side bags and I just find that they're not the most helpful. What is not needed but helpful? I have a baby Brezza disinfector for bottle parts, but I don't have a dishwasher. So I don't know if this would be the most helpful for any of you watching who also have a dishwasher. But for me, because I don't have a dishwasher, we have this thing and you put all the baby pieces in it and you press a little button and it steams and disinfects and dries it for you. And that is a luxury that has made my life a lot easier because Julesy is taking a bottle a lot and she has thrush so we're just sanitizing everything a lot and so that's just a very luxurious thing also same type of thing a bottle warmer i've never had one never used one but i heard that they're a luxury that make life easier also baby wipe warmer so that the wipes are warm on their tush i've heard that that's wonderful never used it but people like it I also have this. This is exactly the one I have. Jules just had it. A quilt. It's a muslin quilt. And I never would have thought that I would like this. I actually didn't buy it for myself. It was a gift given to me. And my initial thought was like, hmm, that's a little, that's a little extra. But I love it. It's just slightly warmer, a bit heavier than the muslin blankets that I use as swaddles. And sometimes I swaddle jewels up in one of these. I bring them everywhere. I really like them. So now we carry them in our shop because someone gave them to me and I actually like them. They're really cute. So that's like an extra if you want it. I find it wonderful. Also, there's, what's it called? Oh my gosh, Diaper Genie, Diaper Genie. I had one with Eloise. I actually didn't care about it at all. Some moms love them though, just like a specific trash can that you put all your diapers in and then they like tie pretty cool and I don't know. I think I just didn't understand why it was so special, but some people swear by them. So that could be you. And I think that's all. You're gonna want a lot of diapers, a lot of wipes, and a lot of footed sleepers and a great place for your baby to sleep because that's gonna happen a lot. And I'm going to make another video that is postpartum essentials. I'm also going to make hospital bag essentials and breastfeeding essentials and i'm just wanting to do all of this to help you kind of streamline all the information you're getting and maybe have some cohesive things that you can put together and it's clear and simple and from a friend who doesn't want you to spend tons of money but does want you to have a nice time with quality things 
while you raise your beautiful baby. Thank you so much for watching. I like you so much. I'm really grateful for you. If there's anything that you want to hear from me, write it in the comments below and I'll see you soon. Okay. I have my hands today. I think I'm highly caffeinated. Okay. I will see you next week or something. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, this is the passy clip I use. Oh, pacifiers. If your baby's going to take a pacifier.